Hello, my name is Robert Powell. I drive for Anderson Trucking Service, and this is Tips and Tricks on how to work out as a truck driver. Health, that's the big reason why you should work out as a truck driver. You don't have to do extreme exercises, but as a truck driver, our health is on the line daily. You don't want to have health issues or be overweight or obese and drive a truck and maybe have a heart attack or you're too sleepy. There's a huge variety of reasons why health plays a part in a truck driver's daily life. And this is what I do to help myself on a daily basis to stay fit. One of them is my workout bench. Pretty simple setup, lightweight, holds up to 800 pounds. You don't need some fancy gym membership to work out. All you need is motivation. Curl some buys. 80 pounds all day long because our tarps are heavy and then you can work in some shoulder presses or some Arnold presses whatever you want to call them just get that heart flowing get that heart pumping the supplements that I take on a daily basis to stay fit and healthy first thing I do in the morning time is I take creatine monohydrate it helps maintain your water so you don't lose it and then every morning I take fish oil. And then in the afternoon, after I get done working out, you need protein. So I take, I take up isolate protein right before I get out of the truck to do any type of physical activity with my lumbar loads or any type of loads that I have. You wanna make sure you're hydrated and take your BCAs or your ECAs, which is electrolytes. And that's, that's basically what I take every single day. Food and diet wise, I know we all love the convenience of fast food. Uh, no one loves a hamburger or pizza better than me. I love pizza, but I have to stay away from it. I usually go grocery shopping at the end of the week, rather, no matter what grocery store is nearby, Target, Walmart, a Food Lion, you name it. My meals consist of the OMAD diet, which is one meal a day. And at the end of the day, I eat two big chicken breasts and a packet of rice. It sounds boring because it is boring, but at least I know what I'm putting in my body. On top of that, at least a gallon of water a day to stay hydrated. I'll take my bands, find them at Sports Academy, and as a flatbed truck driver, why not utilize the whole trailer? We've got the handles, we even got the foot straps, and we've got these little door stoppers. What I like to do is put them through the box because it won't, it won't go nowhere. Get whatever band you want to get, put it through the hole. You can just start working out. Do some ab works. Or if you want to work on your guns, you can work on your tries. That's a few options. You can use the D-rings. That won't go nowhere. Strap it on up like that, wrap it around your hand, and you do skull crushers. It's all about the resistance. You got your trailer, why not utilize it? If you can think it, you can do it. Where do I find time to work out? That's a very good question, because our hours differ. You gotta have some discipline in yourself to either wake up maybe an hour or two before your clock resets, I know it's tough, but you gotta get in that motivation. You gotta get in that, that rhythm. Most of the time, I like to work out at the end of the day. Even if it's just a walk around the truck stop or a little bit of a bicep workout or chest workout, 30 minutes a day can change your life forever. And as long as you do it every single day, then it will benefit you in the long run.